going on guys welcome back to masculine energy if you're new around here go down below and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we have everyone here uh you guys will be able to see all of my brand new content and you'll be able to get notifications about all of it to all of your devices okay um join the email list it's down below you just have to highlight it put it uh Highlight and copy, put it into your uh, address bar, and then you'll get a page, and then in that page you fill out your information, and then go from there, okay? In this video, we're gonna talk about why you need to focus on your purpose and keeping them interested long term. okay? I don't really know what I'm gonna call this video, but I made some notes, and uh, it's something that I've been writing for a bit, and I wanted to articulate it in a specific way, excuse me, so, I think I got it down now, so let's get right into it. So you, they need to be constantly fighting for your time, uh, your validation and stuff like that, because when they're fighting for that, it keeps their emotions in, involved in the relationship. Okay. If they, they're emotional creatures, they need to be wondering, they need to be uncertain of how you feel of how the relationship is going and so forth and so on. When they're too sure of you, that's when they start backing off and testing you and seeing what you're made of because they want to spark some sort of emotional response from you. See, when they have, when they don't have, picture it like a gas tank, all right? You know, when you fill it up, it goes. Her gas tank is her emotional uh, level. Now, <laughs> there, uh, disclaimer. There are some crazy ass bitches out there, crazy women. And this only applies to normal females, which what females are normal anyway. But anyway, so this only applies to females that are relatively normal, okay? Uh, that have normal adult relationships that don't fly off the handle all the time. Uh, this applies to them mostly, okay? This can apply to, to a lot of little crazy women, eh, whatever. I digress. You need to make sure that their emotional gas tank is full. So what does that mean, really? Well, are you growing as a man? Are you growing? Are you stagnant? Are you doing things that you shouldn't be doing? Um, the growing part was great. <laughs> the rest, I went and come to a negative place right there for a minute. So just ignore the fact that I did that. So are you doing everything that you should be doing as a man? Are you focused are you focused on your purpose? Are you focused on everything uh, to grow and to to do more as a man? Are you focused on that or are you focused on her and the relationship? That's her job is to focus on that and wonder where you stand. Your job is to make sure that you're growing and becoming the best version of yourself and breaking through all your barriers and uh, crushing your goals and making sure that you're doing the next best thing. That's your job as a man. Invoking her emotions and making sure that she is uh, never really too sure about you is the best thing you you can be doing to, to make sure that she's uh, interested and she's got a high level of attraction for you. Basically, she has to always make sure that you can replace her easily. Now, think of think of females. They can literally put on a nice dress. They can they can put on their makeup. They can do all this fancy shit to make them look awesome and fantastic and uh you know, men just come running to them. Men will just walk up to them and be like, hey, like you're beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And then boom, they got they got guys on them just because of their looks, because we're visual creatures. Females figured this out a long time ago. If men figured out how to play the emotions correctly and realize where they fall and and focus on certain things more, it would be a lot easier. But it's not the way things are right now, right? So I can't really say say that but so women do this automatically women know how to replace you very quickly and this is exactly why females get over relationships a lot faster than guys do they don't have a scarcity mindset when it comes to men well most women don't right because men are just really they're ready just fucking to give dick at all time so think of you know what's more valuable dick or pussy like everyone would just think pussy right off the bat right so having a growth mindset and having her chase your time and validation is the easiest way to keep her emotions, her emotional gas tank filled up. Because when she's not sure about where she stands or where she's not sure about 
uh, you know, what's going on and how, you know, where the relationship's going to go. Like she has a, like a decent understanding cause you're still with her, but she doesn't know what's going on. That's why when you as a man tell her how you feel all the time and you're constantly relationship focused, it turns her off because her emotional gas tank literally empties. And she's like, Oh, okay. I kind of know where I stand with him and they get bored. And then they're like, okay, well I need to seek this, this emotional, I need to go see where I can get somebody to stimulate my emotions. That's why they cheat and that's why they leave you. And that's why they disrupt things. They cause a storm because they need to make sure that because their operating system is an emotional one, right? I really want to make sure I drill this into your guys' head so you understand why women act the way that they do. So what are you going to hear if you're in a long-term relationship or, or if you are, you know, seeing the same girl a lot or whatever, you're going to hear different things from different people. You're going to hear, uh, are you cheating on me? Um, why are you always out with your friends? Why are you always doing this? Why are you always doing that? If you're focused on your purpose and your mission, you're going to be hearing this and this is a good thing. Okay. Why don't you make time for me? Now this could backfire if you are never around, but you just got to play this off the right way and make dates. Okay. So you're going to hear things like, you know, you never make time for me. When you hear that, you could, you could just suavely be like, Hey, uh, yeah, I know I've been working on my mission. I've been busy. You know, I've been creating my kingdom. I've been, uh, building my, my empire, so to speak. And then you could be like, uh, yeah, I know you miss me. So, you know, then you, from there, you can create a date depending on what you guys like to do. Uh, depending on her, there's just certain things that you're going to be able to do when you're in a relationship with someone that you know that they like. So you can just play it, play that off uh, that way. And if you're completely unsure, uh, just always go back to making some sort of like date where you guys are actually like, you know, out romantically. Okay. Uh, that's a really good default. Some people really like to go on walks. All right. And, and, and she's going to try to get a lot of information out of you uh, about how you feel on this walk and you just got to divert a little bit, divert it this way, that way, try to never really answer the question, you know? So she just never really knows where she stands. Are you cheating on me? Stuff like that. If she, if you get this, it's because she doesn't see you enough. It's basically her way of saying like, like what's going on? Where have you been? What, wh you know, uh, she might actually think you're cheating on her. If you display those actions, she's really only saying that because she is unsure about how she feels. And are you out with other women? If you're like a high value male and you're getting hit on a lot and you, you know, you, you're on your grind, you're on your mission and your purpose, you, she knows you have a lot of options. Really all you're doing is taking her, you're taking what she's good at naturally and you're just applying it to yourself. So what did it, what do I mean by that? Well, again, like I said earlier, she can just dress up nice, right? And she can go out and literally attract men right away. We have to learn certain things and kind of unlearn bad behavior so we don't turn people off. We literally, a lot of men just, you know, talk girls right out of liking us. Like it's, it's a common thing. And this is something you can learn by watching these channel, you know, watching my channel and other channels of, of all this. And you can just learn and start applying these things. Um, basically I, like I always, I call it preventative medicine. Just don't, don't do's, don't do this and don't do that. And it kind of, it will help you along the way. The more sure of you, they are, the more they will test you. Again, they're trying to spark that emotional, uh, gas tank. They're trying to fill it up. They're trying to see what they can do around them to increase and fill up this gas tank. Like I keep saying, because they, they need it. It's a need. It's a physical need for them to fill or else they get bored. Okay. And I get a lot of men that are going to see this video and watch my stuff now. know. I know that they have heard this. I know that they know somebody who's heard I am bored or you've seen uh, I am bored. It's because in that relationship and in the relationships you are in, you're not invoking enough emotional spark in them to stay invested in you. You, that this is why a lot of blame goes to men on a lot of these channels and, and on my channel because it's, it's, and I actually had a guy that I was coaching he literally said to me, this was like a, in a video call, he said, I'm so tired of men being, uh, take like being the ones to blame. And I was like, well, are you on a, are you growing? It, this is something that is supposed to be automatic for us. Are you like, and I asked him, are you growing? Are you doing, what's your purpose? Like what, what, what do you do? You're the problem with him is he was too relationship focused. 
he wasn't focused on his passions and his goals and his dreams and breaking through barriers and working on his body and trying to improve himself. Women like to see growth. They like to see that their man is becoming a better version of himself. They love that shit. They fucking love it because they know that they're with a winner. They want to be, everyone wants to be with a winner, not a fucking loser, right? He was too relationship focused and she started testing him and guess what? He failed the fucking tests. And an easy way to pass tests is to be too fucking busy. You like, like she'll test you because again, she isn't getting her emotional fill. So if you are getting, you're going to get tested in a long-term relationship. And as relationships go on longer and longer, it's actually harder for us to pass tests because women just tend to get away with more and more shit because guys don't, they just don't want to deal with the drama. So they tend to get away with more and more and more as a relationship goes on. She needs to be chasing your time. She needs to be chasing your validation. She needs to be chasing your, she needs to be chasing how sure she, like where she stands in the relationship. She needs to never really know what you're thinking and what you're feeling and what you're doing. It's better for her attraction level. And this is the easiest way because again, like I said, when she's too sure, she gets bored and she starts looking for other ways to fill up that emotional gas tank. So I'm kind of repeating myself, but I just, like I said, I want to get this through your heads and I want to make sure that you guys understand why this happens because it's, it's a lot easier if, if you understand the reasoning than just to follow it, you know, word for word and not really understand the meaning behind it all. Just make sure they're always fighting for something from you, your time. Uh, the time is a big one, especially when you are an entrepreneur or a businessman or you're, you're working for that next thing you're, you're doing, you know, something that's going to take a lot of time out of you, out of your, like building a YouTube channel. That's tough because you got to record the videos. You got to edit the videos. You got to come up with ideas. Uh, and then if it's a business, you have to now be talking to clients and now you got to be making sure everything's okay. Well, I don't have a lot of time. I have a lot of people send me emails and they're like, Hey, I need your help. I'm like, listen, I really don't have the time. I'll, I'll literally be recording a video. I'll see an email come through or I'll be editing a video and email will come through. Something will come through. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I can't help you for free because I, it, you know, for one, this is a business. And number two, if I did it for free, then I'm now giving all these people free information and they think they can book my time whenever they want. And it's like, no, I need to set some rules and some boundaries and because my time is valuable to me because now I'm spending this time doing this and I could be growing this more and, or I could be out with my friends or I could be doing something else. So booking my time, you know, it makes it, it's there for me. I need to make sure that the value is there for me as, as well. So by helping you guys is something I absolutely love doing, but again, like I'm busy doing this too. And it has a positive effect on my girlfriend's emotions. It really does. And all the other things that I'm doing as well. I have other businesses that I work on and since I've been doing them, I have had an insane, uh, uh, it's almost like a test. Like I've had this, like, yeah, I've been watching and I've been observing her attraction level go up and uh, up and up as, as I've been doing this stuff. And you can tell, I can always tell where it is now. I can always tell like what's going on. And I'm like, Oh yeah, you, you, you want more of my time. You want more of a commitment from me. You want more of this, you want more of that. You want to make sure that I'm not, that I'm, and again, the more sure she is of me, the more, the less attractive, attracted she is to me. It's just a fact. And, and it's, it's such a strange thing that, 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 that is the way that it is. You'd think that the more you show your emotions that they would re uh, reciprocate the, but that's not the way that they operate. They're literally counterintuitive creatures. So, the less that you show that you care and the less that you go into all that, the less emotions, the less time, the less you validate everything about your relationship with her and her feelings and her emotions and compliments and all that stuff, the less that you do, the better it is for her attraction level. Weird shit, but it's the way that it is, you know? And I wish that, I wish that this is something that was taught but our society is so backwards and we're learning shit that we don't even shouldn't even be learning. We should be, this is the, coming across this channel is going to help people unlearn uh, and deprogram um, specific behaviors that never should have been fucking learned, you know, learned in the first place, but it is what it is. Right? So if you guys need my help with this and need some more 
uh, deeper coaching and deeper learning and strategies, book my time and I will definitely help you guys out. Um, everything will be down below. Just send me an email to Kyle at uh, johnsonmediagroup.co or powerfulrelationships27 at gmail.com if there's any issues. That one will always work. Um, some of my other domains were acting funny. So um, yeah, everything will be down below and I hope you guys have a great evening, day, afternoon, wherever the fuck you are watching these videos. And uh,